Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Pueblo, Colorado with a fraudster that goes by the name of Mile High Audits. And he attempts to uh, audit a construction site and gets booted off and then goes to the cops about it to complain. What kind of stupid idiotic man would just uh, walk onto a construction site and expect not to get tossed off because of all the dangers that are around? Well, I guess uh, just some people lack any common sense whatsoever. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mile High Audits. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I want to see if the public themselves are educated on our right to film in publicly accessible areas. Do you see that uh, fence and that gate right there? Does that look like it's meant to be public publicly accessible? I mean, there's construction equipment that's in there right now doing a job of building these places and yet here you come waltzing in thinking that you own the place which you don't. I mean it's only understandable that the uh, foreman of this uh, site throws you off of the site because well if you get hurt that's a massive liability dumbass and who is who are you gonna sue the construction company of course because they let you roam around like a complete dumbass so it's only natural that you would sue them um just to give you a little rundown these are the apartments we will be moving into um soon Let's see if they got any restricted signs on the gate because i see it's open and if there's no restricted signs on the gate that means it's public property oh so if uh there's no uh, sign on any fence. That means it's public property. So that means you can just walk up into somebody's private land and say it's public property. Nope, that's not how it works, you dumbass. Try again. So let's step through the gate. Looks like they're building our road. Let's just see what's going on. This environment. Let's see. What's up? Um, no, sir. I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an independent general. Who are you? You're what? Who are you? Superintendent. You're su superintendent. Yes. Um, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm an independent journalist. Don't uh, I'm sorry. You, you, you don't have an, yes, don't you don't have an expectation of privacy in public. Where? It, we're in public. We're in public. Please, no, please don't, please don't touch me, I'm, sir. I'm, I'm, you, I'm, 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 I'm going to file charges for assault. You just assaulted me, you sir. You just, you, you just assaulted me, sir. I see no restricted signs, sir. None. I see no restricted signs, sir. None. The gates open. The gates open. You're cut. Are, are you calling PD for a man with a camera? Okay, take. A, I don't care. You take a picture of me. I'm in public. I'm in public. I'm in public. Hey Siri, call Ryan. No, no, no. Housing can't get me out of here. This is a public accessible area. Not while it's a construction site, just simpleton. Because if anything happens to you, well, guess what? There's gonna be lawsuits because they didn't keep you out like they should have. But seeing as how you don't have any common sense or any intelligence, you wouldn't understand any concepts like that to begin with. But let's carry on, shall we? It's a publicly accessible area. I wasn't all the way in the construction site. No, no, I, yeah, but there's no. Do you? Do you? It's, it's open. It's open. You don't want public coming in. You got to close it and put a restricted sign. Hey. Hey, listen, you gibbering simpleton. You need to leave the gate open to let construction equipment come in and 
out during the day, you know, for easy access for the people who were actually supposed to be there. I mean, as if the gate and the fence were not enough to tell you that it could possibly be a restricted area. If you put your hands on me again, I will defend myself. I will defend myself. I will defend myself. Well, right after this, he heads on to the local police department so he can go file a complaint against these people. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how that works out for him. Many, many minutes later. Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, I'm here to file a police report, file charges on someone who assaulted me. I have it all on camera. Okay, you'll need to speak with an officer then. Okay. Okay. Call this number and let them know that you were assaulted and that um, you need an officer to come take your report, okay? Okay, thank you so much. And like I said, I have it all on camera. Yeah. Um, the officer can get that from you. He'll have you send it to him or... Um, okay. Okay. The, yeah. All right. The officer will get it from you. All right. Though. Um, so just call this number. Call and... that number. Don't hang up. When you dial, call it until somebody answers the phone. Otherwise, you get kicked to the bottom No of the problem. List. You guys have a beautiful building here as well. Uh, Well, guys, that went well. Altogether, it was a success. I'm going to call this number right here. Oh, my goodness. You call this a success? You call just getting the business card to go call the proper people to file this claim a success? Oh, boy, you have such low standards, don't you? Either that or a very low IQ. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer! A little longer than a few minutes later. Back again with Mile High Audits. As you can remember, I was uh, physically battered. I would say assaulted. Um, I filed charges on the guy. Um, he tried to keep me out of a public accessible area. Um, this is the other side of the complex that they had finished building. And as you can see, there's cars parked. Um, they've already started moving people from these buildings to these buildings. Are you sure about that, my smooth brain friend? Because there's so many different phases to construction. Because, you know, there's just more than just building the facade that's involved with construction. I mean, you've got the electrical work, you've got painting to do, and then in the final phase, you've got people that come in and uh, detail the place to clean it up to get ready for the people to move in. I mean, it's just not not that freaking simple, you simpleton. I mean, there are many layers to it that you need to understand, and they're probably in the final phases that they have to do before they remove the fences. And I've had friends who have been uh, part of contracts to go out to clean up these apartments, to get them ready to be rented, and uh, believe it or not, the fences are still up during this phase. It's only when all these phases are complete that they bring down these fences to allow people to start moving in. So get that through your thick uh, skull, you gibbering idiot. Now he comes back to the original construction site that he antagonized a little while later and they've closed down the site to go home for the day. But he finds that they've put up signs because, you know, they had a knuckle-dragging moron come in here pretty much spouting off his mouth saying that if there are no signs, then it's public property, which is a load of BS to begin with. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, and then we're done with this moron. And, uh, <laughs> man, was this a success. Man, was this a success. You see, guys, that, that's why I did this. I, I didn't do this to, uh, make them take any signs down I, I noticed that you know a lot of videos you know the, the whole purpose is to make make them take unconstitutional signs down my purpose here was to get them to follow the law follow the law look at that they don't have not one 
not two, but three keep out signs. That was ultimately a success, you guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, you're proud of the fact that you acted like a gigantic man child and they had to put up uh, signs to keep your dumb ass out of there so you wouldn't go around and play with something that you shouldn't play around with and they end up finding you in a, uh, well, a broken heap the next day wondering what the hell happened to you. I mean, that's just the fact of it right there. You probably would have walked right in there if they had no signs, and well, if you did survive, then there would be a lawsuit. If not, then there still probably would have been a lawsuit, and but you wouldn't be around to tell us about it. I mean, I do believe that's how it would have worked out, because you seem like the type that uh, would walk in there and just start pressing buttons until you would end up with a uh, Darwin Award. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.